So this is the Fluke 77 multimeter. As you can see, it has it can read voltage, resistance, and current. Um, so these three are voltage settings. This means voltage in AC, this is voltage in DC, and this will read voltage in DC with millivolts as the units. Um, this will tell us resistance in ohms, and then this is current in AC and current in DC. And so if you're measuring voltage or resistance, you want to have your two leads being here, where you can see it has the volt and the ohm sign, and ground. And if you're reading current, you want your positive end to be in one of these two ports and ground. And the labels on these two ports tell us the unit that the current would be measured in. To measure voltage across a resistor, the multimeter should be in parallel with the resistor. To measure current across a resistor, the multimeter should be in series with this resistor. So here's the circuit set up so that the multimeter is reading the voltage across a 1 kilo ohm resistor. And our power supply is set to 5 volts. And as you can see on the multimeter, it reads around 5 volts. So here we have the multimeter attached to the power supply in series to act as an ammeter. The ammeter is reading the current as 5 milliamps because there is a 5 volt output from the power supply with a 1 kilo ohm resistance, so it is reading the current correctly. So reading the resistance of a resistor is really simple. All you have to do is connect the two ends to the two ends of the resistor, and as you can see, the multimeter is reading 982 ohms for this resistor, which is about supposed to be about 1 kilo ohm. The resistance of the multimeter changes depending on the setting, so make sure to attach everything in the correct way, otherwise there is a huge risk of blowing the fuse in the multimeter.